<laughs> hey everybody, we're back and we have the BAM box January 2017 anniversary box. Now, this one actually showed up on Thursday and I didn't have time to do anything with it because we were planning our trip to Michigan. But I got a text saying that my two BAM boxes had showed up. So I ended up with two of them this month. I only paid for one, went back, made sure I only paid for one. So if anybody used my code, thank you. I ended up with two BAM boxes. So hopefully the contents in both of them are different. Um, I know I think I saw a spoiler for a mask, the Jason mask. So I can't wait because I do appreciate um, collectibles. I'm not a very big Jason Voorhees or Friday the 13th fan. I do love Freddy vs. Jason, only because it's Freddy Krueger. But I do enjoy collectibles, so I might end up giving one of these masks away in a giveaway box at some point in time. But let's get these boxes open and see how different they possibly could be. I've already cut the tape on both of them, so once you do that, you open up the box. This is what you see. So it's pretty cool. Um, first off, we have the Jason mask. And, of course, it's got the blood splatter on it. Now, I was also informed that the masks are different. Um, I've seen a few pictures that people have posted on social media. And it really... It really didn't concern me, let's see. It piqued my curiosity on what could possibly be different, but it is. It is the blood splatter on the box, or on the mask on the box. What the hell? It is the blood splatter that is very, very different. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and open up the other box. I want to be able to compare everything, even though some of it might not be different. But there's the other mask, how the blood splatter from the first one is different. It's like more thinned out over here, more thicker over here and higher, but that is really, really cool. I like that. I like that they can make them different. That way no one gets the exact same mask, even though it might just be blood. So that's cool. And it is signed right there. All right, the, oh, and here is the certificate of authenticity for both. So that's cool. Adam, I don't even know how to say his last name, so we're not going to even butcher it. Alright, the next item we have is a BAM pin, which is really cool. It's from Stranger Things. And I do believe, yes, we have the same one in the next box. So there we go. There's another item for my giveaway box. And that is Dustin's hat. Yes, Dustin's hat. Can't wait for the new Stranger Things ready for season two. All right, next it looks like we have a license plate. Um, both boxes actually have a license plate and they're both the same, so it is California night. So there we go. Got another, another giveaway item. I'll have to make me a giveaway box soon. So yeah, the California night license plate. I think the last license plate we got was my very first band box. Uh, and I can't remember the theme. I think it might have been 80s themed. And I ended up getting the barcode license plate from Back to the Future. So that was pretty cool. And I still have not put that on the Jeep because I still have to put the holes in the box. Or in the tin. Right. Those are the certificates. Let's see what we have here. Alrighty, looks like we have a print of a comic book that is signed but it is really really cool battle brothers and then the print in this one is from the walking dead it looks like and i haven't watched any of the new walking dead so yeah i got two different prints so that was cool i think these were the two that you could possibly get i'm not for sure we'll have to look at the card 
But they have gremlins in this one, and they are fighting alien versus predator and gremlins. So those are really, really cool. And then this one, I'm assuming, is part of the Walking Dead season of the guy. I can never think, I can't think of his name right now. I know him as Danny Duquette off of Grey's Anatomy. But he goes around beating people with a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire. So I'm pretty sure that that's what this is in reference to. Um, I know some of you Walking Dead fans know what I'm talking about. I have not seen the newest season yet. I'm still way far behind on it. I think I'm at the point where they just introduced him. But I'm not exactly for sure. I haven't watched it in some time. So there are my two prints. So those are really, really cool. And then next, I think it might actually be the last thing in here, we have a one of those comic book strips. This one looks like it is from Dennis the Menace. So I like that. That's really cool. Let's see, where is this from? Yep, it is from Dennis the Menace. And there is the Certificate of Authenticity. And I'm pretty sure with these... They are one copy prints only. There are none that are alike. So that's cool. I'm going to have to definitely put a, uh, get a uh, photo book of this. Like a little photo album for those here pretty, pretty soon. And then this one is from a game it looks like. Captain in the Game Master. Don't think I ever played this one, but it almost, it looks like a princess. Wish we could see her face, but that's really, really cool. Again, there's the Certificate of Authenticity. So that's pretty cool. And then, let's see, this was the anniversary themed box. So that is really awesome for their anniversary. Um, sometimes this box is hit or miss for me, so sometimes I don't get the very next theme, but the next theme is the 90s, so hopefully we can do some really cool stuff with the 90s. I mean, a lot of stuff happened in the 90s. Um, your exclusive pins would have been a band box one-year anniversary pin that comes in two different styles, and then you could have gotten a zombie pin brass knuckles or a, or the Stranger Things, Dustin pin, which I wish I could have gotten the brass knuckles ones. I really do like the zombie brass knuckles. Um, you had two choices between the art prints, and then of course the mask. And of course it does say no two masks are alike. I really want to know if somebody got one with a handprint like that, because that would have been awesome where it's got the handprint over the eye. That would have been so awesome. I want to see that. And then, of course, you've got the animated cells from different animations, which would have been completely different for everybody because I don't believe that those are, um, there are no two alike on those. I think there's, like, one and done, so. And then the license plate, let's see, what is my license plate off of? From Kit. Okay, from Kit the TV show, Knight Rider. So yeah, that's what my California license plate is from, is Knight Rider, it looks like. So okay, that, that makes a little bit more sense now. I never really watched Knight Rider, but that's just me. Um, this was an, actually a really, really good box. Sometimes, yeah, these are hit or miss. Um, I know a lot of things have been said about Bam Box, but I mean, with... You get autographs in it, and you get prints. I don't really care too much for the for the print autographs as much as I would enjoy the actual person autograph, like the Jason mask. But, I mean, you at least get autographs in your box every month. There's a guarantee for an autograph, so that's a plus. I mean, it's better than any other box. It doesn't give autographs like that. So, they just give a print and say, here you go. So, yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
um, leave a comment in the comment description below on what you thought of the video and what you thought of this, well not the video, but what you thought of this box and hope you guys are interested in getting this box. I really, really, really want to see what the 90s box looks like, so I believe I will be subscribing to that. I will put a link below on where you can get your first BAM box and how to get your first BAM box. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.